So I don't really want to take sides on the whole is the Knicks dysfunction Phil Jackson or Carmelo Anthony's fault debate. While it's true Melo isn't always the best team player and he tends to struggle with being consistently engaged from game to game, Phil Jackson hasn't exactly been a great GM either. And the Derrick Rose acquisition last year shows he doesn't really know what he's doing beyond being a head coach. But Phil threw Melo under the bus today for like the third time saying he would be better off somewhere else. I think it's clear Phil is trying to force Melo's hand. Anthony has a no trade clause on his contract, which he would have to waive if Jackson dealt him elsewhere. And remember, back before the trade deadline, Phil tried hard to trade him and Melo basically said, I'm not going anywhere, deal with it. And he can do that again if he wants to, but why the hell would Carmelo Anthony want to do that? It's one thing to stay with the Knicks out of spite for Phil Jackson if you have just a few weeks left in the season, but why would Carmelo want to stay somewhere he's not wanted just to piss off Phil Jackson? You're not going to get him fired, we know he's going to be there for at least a couple more years. So if I were Melo, and we're very similar people, I would give Phil, Phil Jackson a list of teams I would want to play for and say, there you go, now make it happen and I'll leave. Phil can try to force him out, but Melo still has the leverage. He should use it. But at the end of the day, I think we can all agree, this is really James Dolan's fault.